Well, I come from a very large Italian family, and the way that we express ourselves is with our hands and hugs and um, a, a kind face and just a, a nice word when we see each other. And that is exactly what I got when I came into Bug. The first person I came in contact with asked me how I was, asked me where I had been before, if this was the first time I was seeing Bug. He um, loves his teacher, so he'll tell me a lot about Miss Cater and Grammy C, uh, who's also in their classroom. We have some wonderful grandmothers in our school that come in and help out uh, with the students. When we walked into the classrooms, rather than the teacher just continuing to teach without recognizing that we were there, she said, hey, this is um, Ashley Brown. She's on a tour. She's thinking of uh, bringing her daughter here. And had the kids just say, hello, Miss Brown. And really, even the class, the students really it was like a warm hug without ever touching anybody. <laughs> it just made us feel so loved and comfortable. And uh, he'll also tell me some of the different projects that they're working on. Uh, his teacher is very creative in bringing the natural world into their classrooms. So, for instance, in the fall, she uh, brought in many different types of pumpkins. They did apple tastings. They did a lot of different things in addition to their curriculum that helped uh, help them to learn about their world. It was just like going to my grandmother's house where you knew everybody. Everybody smoked, everybody smiled, even though it was the first time we saw each other. And that's only continued. We're in our second year, and now when I come into school, the kids, the you know, all of the staff, all of the teachers that I see after a year are like, hey, Tallulah's mom. And it's just such a great feeling to be known and to know that my daughter is loved in the same way every day. Well, I think creative arts is, um, is you know many different aspects of uh, the ability to think creatively and think critically and um, and problem solve and um, just learn how to expand expand the mind and think about the world. In the beginning of the school year, they're given an assessment to figure out what their best way of learning is, and then the teachers actually make an effort to teach them that way, to make sure that if music is the way that they learn best, that they get lots of music interaction for all of their literacy and math. They might be learning about measurement, and in his classroom, he'll be learning about measurement, but instead of sitting at a desk, uh, they might get into a group on the floor and one child might um, be laying on the floor and the other children are measuring the child. And then he comes to art and they uh, learn about measurement through art. And then he may go to dance and they learn that same thing but from many, many different um, aspects. So the thing that I love about uh, the school for my daughter is that you know, she gets music and dance and art every single day, but in those classes she also gets the reading uh, and the math piece. So in music they're actually teaching reading and math. And then when you go into the regular classroom with a regular teacher, she gets music and art and dance and theater and science and technology all incorporated in there. But it's also um, a creative way of thinking and a creative way of looking at the world and a creative way of moving through the world and solving problems. And I think some, so many times um, schools sort of dictate how to think and what I love about Bug is that it allows children to explore the world in many different ways and draw their own conclusions. My daughter loves art, so every time she gets to learn reading by describing a painting or writing a story about something that she's seen in art, it just lights her up. And when she shares that, that's why we're here. So my son is very active. Uh, he loves sports. He loves pretty much every sport. He plays hockey, he plays in golf tournaments, uh, he loves basketball, he plays t-ball. Uh, so he loves to move and one thing that I love about Bug is that they support that in him. My daughter takes dance outside of school. What she gets here is totally different because it's a social creativity. They all work together and, and she gets to really expand her mind um, through actual activities. Uh, so that's really what the creative arts are for her. She just gets to do stuff rather than just being taught stuff. We have wonderful, wonderful teachers at Bug, and he's able to learn things in the way that he learns best. And that's so incredibly important to us, that he's not being forced um, to do things that don't resonate with him, that he's able to learn in the way that he learns best and to succeed. 
when you're here, you'll hear a lot of families talk about the bug family because it is true. It's not just a place for um, Tallulah to go to school. It's a place for our family to be a part of something larger. So parents are encouraged to volunteer, come out to parent nights, meet the teachers, meet the principals, uh, really have a personal relationship with the staff. But at those meetings, we're also encouraged to meet each other. We're very happy to be a part of the bug community and the bug family and uh, we hope you'll join us.